Hello, I'm meteorologist Alex Gibbs from the National Weather Service Atlanta Forecast Office. Today, we will be discussing one of nature's most awe-inspiring yet deadly weather phenomenon, lightning. While lightning does not constitute a severe thunderstorm, it is undoubtedly one of the major risks that every thunderstorm, big or small, severe or weak, contains. Today, we will, be we will be talking about what causes lightning, different types of lightning, and lightning safety tips. Now for a quick science lesson. Ions are created by natural radioactive decay and cosmic rays. These ions interact with neutral molecules to create electrons. These free electrons create both positive and negative ions. The newly created ions begin to orient themselves in the atmosphere, where the positively charged ions settle towards the bottom of the atmosphere, and the negatively charged ions drift towards the top. The negatively charged ions escape to space and lead to a loss of charge in the atmosphere. As a result of this process, thunderstorms are hypothesized to restore the negatively charged ions lost to space. Now we have a basic idea of why the atmosphere is charged. How do thunderstorms become electrically charged? A good way to visualize this process is the control of a thunderstorm is to think of a thunderstorm as a living, breathing thing. Thunderstorms have an updraft where it ingests warm, moist air, much like a human being breathing in oxygen to survive. Once the moisture in the air is used by the thunderstorm, a downdraft expels the cold, dry air, much like a person exhaling out carbon monoxide. Inside the thunderstorm, the updraft continues to bring in warm, moist air. As this air gets lifted, it condenses into a liquid. As this liquid gets higher and higher in the atmosphere, it gets colder and colder until it freezes into ice crystals and grapple, which is small ice. As the grapple starts to fall to the earth, it hits ice crystals on the way down. This collision causes an electron to be lost or added, depending on the temperature, to the grapple. As a result, large areas of positive and negative charge exist within the thunderstorm. What causes lightning? When the electrical charge gets large enough in one of the charge regions, a current, called the step leader, starts to make its way down from the cloud. As this stepped leader makes its way close to the ground, streamers from targets on the ground will start to reach up towards the thunderstorm. One of these streamers will attach itself to the stepped leader. At this time, charge is transferred from the cloud to the ground, as a flash of light is what we see at this step. The whole process takes about 25 milliseconds. In most cases, charge is transferred from the storm to the ground. There are other examples of lightning, which we will now discuss. Of all lightning that occurs, about 60% of the lightning is within the cloud. You may see a flash of light and even hear thunder. However, the charge transfer occurs within the cloud. These strikes pose no direct threat to people on the ground. Another type of lightning is cloud to air. Lightning will actually leave the cloud and strike the air around the storm. The third and final type of lightning is called cloud-to-ground lightning. This is the most dangerous of all lightning. Cloud-to-ground strikes transfer a large amount of electrical charge to the Earth's surface. This charge can very easily injure and kill people. While negative, negative cloud-to-ground strikes represent a majority of total strikes, there are also positively charged strikes. Positively charged lightning strikes often come from the anvil of a thunderstorm and strike far away from the actual thunderstorm. These strikes usually contain the most charge of any strike, making them even more dangerous than typical negative strikes. In this video, you can see how lightning strikes away from the thunderstorm. How do you protect yourself from lightning? Following these guidelines can help you keep yourself safe from the storm. It is important to anticipate when there might be thunderstorms so that when one forms, you can take shelter. For example, experienced mountain climbers in the summer wake up extra early to climb a mountain before the afternoon. They know that the afternoon during the summer, there will be often be thunderstorms. So instead of risking being on the, on the mountain in the afternoon, they climb early and get done early to stay safe from thunderstorms. Here in Georgia, we have summer thunderstorms almost every day in the afternoon. Planning ahead will help you keep safe from the thunderstorms. If you are stuck outside during a thunderstorm, understand there is no place, no place safe from lightning. 
The best thing you can do is get indoors. Stay away from windows and stay off corded telephones. We teach people the simple saying, When thunder roars, go indoors. If you're on a boat, try to make it to a safe harbor and a sturdy building. If you're caught outside during a thunderstorm, following these tips may help keep you safe. Do not seek refuge under a tree. A lot of lightnings will hit trees first. As the charge runs down a tree to the ground, you can get hit by the charge if not injured and killed. Avoid being the tallest object. Try to huddle down in the catcher's position, much like what is shown here. If you're on a boat, try to get below deck. If someone does get struck by lightning, call 911 and perform first aid. The person that was struck is not electrified, so you can touch them. A lot of times, these people will be in cardiac arrest, so you should perform CPR or use an AED. Another important safety rule is to wait 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder to return to your outdoor activity. Lightning can strike up to 20 miles away from a storm. If you could hear thunder, you are close enough to get struck. This concludes today's lesson on lightning. If you have any questions, you can visit these websites for more information or contact us through email at sr dash ffc dot webmaster at noaa dot gov. Once again, that's sr dash ffc dot webmaster w e b m a s t e r at noaa dot gov. noaa dot gov.